We are live with the Privilege Show. And yo, 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 it's your boy, Joe, Joe, Joe Bond. Thanks for tuning in to the Socially Charged, Debatable, and Dope. I'm talking about the Privilege Show, airing every week, Mondays at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'd like to introduce to you two of the illest co-hosts in the entertainment industry. I got my girl, LaShane. Hey, y'all. I got my boy, Isaac, in the building. What's good? What's good? Quarantine building. And look, we all quarantine. Pretty uh, much. It looks like, right? How y'all been? Everything been good? We've been we've been kind of off off air for a minute. So we all been... I know we got some exciting stories to tell or some 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 newness, right? Well, <laughs> Lots of newness. Yeah, I'm 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 tired personally. Like you know, it's it takes me a, a while to crack, and I'm starting to get to, to that crack point. You know what I mean like that, that breakdown point? Like I'm not used to. I, I don't mind being in, but it's 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 starting to catch up to me a little bit. Yeah, like, a little bit. Little so bit. is it is it the part of like not being around other people, or is it just like you you getting bored with doing the same stuff in the house and seeing people do the same stuff? I think it's more of, of the same stuff, you know. Um, I'm okay with being home, but it's the fact that I can't do nothing is what gets me. Because I can't go to a restaurant and have no food. You know what I mean? I, I can't go for for a, for a jog. You know, I can't do certain. Well, not a jog on the street, but like you know, at a um at the hills or whatever, Culver City stairs. I can't do anything. Can't yeah. go to the gym. It's stuff like that that really is starting to weigh on me more than anything else. Personally, yeah. I, I I I feel you on that. Um. Lashane, how have you been dealing with this? Are you feeling like you, you're in the breeze? It looks like you're <laughs> dealing with quarantine very well. So oh, how, <laughs> how right? How have things been your way? I I mean, it's been a transition the past couple weeks, but things are good. More space outside. Looks good outside. Um, it feels great. But um, the only thing I really miss, I would say, is like restaurants. I'm a mm-hmm. restaurant girl. Like, yeah, came from the restaurant culture, so I really miss getting like a really nice cocktail and some mm-hmm. appetizers. And I used to actually hit up new restaurants like every week. Um, maybe not new, but new to me. Um, I, that was kind of my thing. Was like finding the hidden gems in my hometown. I would always call it a date with my city. Yeah. Um, so I miss that. Um, and there are some of those gyms that I did visit that are now closed for good as mm. a result of COVID. So, you know, it's definitely a time to be aware and be present, if nothing else. Um, but I think that I'm handling it better than most. For sure. Yeah. Well, that sounds good. Is the, is the baby, you know, it, I have to just say, because our co-host Isaac and his kid rants, you know, throughout this <laughs> Team. They're, they're hilarious. If y'all haven't checked it out, yeah. uh, be sure to stop by his Instagram at uriel.isaac uh, and hear him rant about the kids. Uh, specifically, you've been doing great and enjoying the breeze, Lashane, but how has it been with your son? Like, how has he been adjusting to not being around other children? And, you know. I think he just, I think for the most part, he's okay. It's just he wants someone to play with all the time. Yeah, and- yeah but- I mean, my ankle was hurting after like running around with him outside for like at most a full minute. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so that means that means you're missing your gym membership, low key, huh? I'm, I'm missing quite a bit ankle yeah. brace. Um, but I mean, I would say in general he's okay. He just has energy that has not been let out, and so. Right. I, I I have to do some adjusting, that's for sure. That's one thing that quarantine has taught me is that they're having a child. It's consistent shifting to what best fits what's going on with them, um, to nurture them in the best way possible. So I'm figuring that out. I mean, Lord, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know mm-hmm. what I'm doing. I just shift every week and just find what works. So that's yeah. where we're at still <laughs> yeah you know, I, I i hear you on that um you know me i've been it's been some transitioning going on uh some major announcements coming with the network uh excited oh. about that um yeah just happy just blessed today is mother day mother's day shout out mother's I said mother, like there's only one uh Lashane. shout out to all the mothers happy mother's day Lashane. happy mother's happy day, mother's day. day. For yeah, real. Happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Yeah, happy Mother's Day to y'all moms, my moms, all the moms yeah. in the world. Y'all doing y'all thing. I, I, I ask and I pray that 
you know, God covers all, all the mothers, uh, not only today, but every day. Yeah. Um, it's tough. You know, I can't, I'm not a father yet. I have a child, dog, uh, but I'm not a father quite yet. Uh, maybe that'll come, you know, sometime soon. If I listen to Isaac, it probably will never happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, so I, I've been I've been rolling with the punches, though, uh, to say all that. Everything has been good. Uh, front page news. I mean, a lot of stuff going on in the world. We're going to dive right on to, well, skim, dive and skim right on to the coronavirus updates. Uh, pretty much the updates that we, the Privilege Show, have for you, that I have for you, is continue to stay home, continue to wash your hands, continue to practice social distancing. Uh, the virus is not over. It's still very real. Um, for your latest updates, please check CNN and CDC and wherever else you would like to do your own research. Um, but I do want to kind of keep it lighthearted. It's, today is Mom's Day. You know, hopefully um, people aren't bombarding their mothers with too much love and remembering that they got to kind of stay away for this year. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, states are beginning to open up. California Governor Newsom has changed his, I, I guess, idea or, or thoughts on, you know, how he planned to reopen up California. And so uh, some places in California have already begun to open up as of this past Friday. And mm, I still probably won't be out to about 2021. You know, I, feel you. I, I, feel I can. You. I mean, you know, like so, for instance, one of the malls, um, they're opening up. And it's in a different county. It's not Los Angeles County. It's not San Bernardino. So y'all don't get happy. It's not the Grove. People don't get too happy yet. <laughs> but, you know, the, they're opening up the malls. And what they're saying is the malls have to reduce their hours. So, like, if they were open till 9 before, they now have to close at 6 p.m. Um, What's on, the difference? It doesn't make any sense. So then cutting capacity, like in the food courts, okay. instead of there being table next to table, it's going to be table, no, nobody table, nobody, you know, that type of thing. And then okay. um, they're required to clean every couple hours or every 30 minutes or something like that. I still don't trust it, though, you know? I don't. I'm still in support, yeah, don't. Of, I'm still in support of staying home, staying clean. Um, they're also saying that, and I, I laugh, and I'll save my laugh while I'm laughing, but they also say, because it's not a funny topic, but they're yeah. also saying on this coronavirus COVID-19 update, that COVID can possibly be transmitted through semen, you know? And so that's the, that's the new thing that I heard, you know, cause you heard about the baby boomer. This is supposed to be, oh, everybody having babies, everybody having sex. I mean, come on now, just please still protect yourself. Cause if, if now they say you can catch COVID through this bang bang, what else we? What else can we do? Y'all done took the right. world from us. Y'all done took the, 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 the shops from us, the restaurants, like y'all done took everything. Right. Y'all got us spending money on DoorDash. And right. Food delivery <laughs> services. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Yeah, y'all, they messing with us. Anyway, um, anyway, that's off of that. Rest in heaven to a few different celebrities and, uh, you know, uh, people that we know around the world. It's no specific order that I can start in. First, uh, Mod, uh, Ahmad Arbery. Uh, rest in heaven. That was the whole hat. That is the whole hashtag running while black. And for the first time, since the birth of social media, I don't know if you guys agree with me, but like I feel like black people stood up. I feel like the culture really yeah. took the for whether yeah. it was reposting or sharing it in Facebook messages or whatever it was. People was like, "Yo, enough is enough." You know, we're tired, man. We're yeah. tired, man. If if this ain't straightened out soon, it's gonna be uh, it's it's gonna be something. There's gonna be some some major reactions from black people that that people aren't gonna like to see. You know what I mean? And it, it, it might get violent. I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't promote that, but how much can you take before yeah. you push somebody back? Yeah. Don't keep slapping me in my face and expect not to get slapped back. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just hope that we can get together before that happens. Cause that's not what we need in this country, but it's, it's on the brink of that. That's yeah. how I feel. No, and that's a great point. Now, and I'm asking you as well, Lashane. Isaac, what do you specifically, what can you foresee happening? I know you said violence and you're not promoting it, and we, the Privilege Show, don't promote the violence. Um, At all. Like, you just see people just taking more of a stand for themselves, really putting I do. their arms to you. No. You know, I, I, I see more Black people coming together, like, as a Black Panther movement, like it used to be. You know what I mean? I, I see I see people going up in arms. I see yeah. uh, coming, to, you know, I guess coming together and, and just strategizing. You know, um, we are probably the last group that has it has done that because people do it all around the world. 
they already have uh, a, a, a mm -hmm. regimen set up for a possible war or a, a possible possible attacks on mm -hmm. each other. So we need to come together, you know, and it's not, again, not for violent purposes, but to say enough is enough. If we come together, they can't keep doing this to us. They but can. the more that we're divided between one another, the easier it, it, the easier it is for them to just continue to harm us. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? We don't That's show no type of togetherness. We don't show no type of care. We'll 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 talk about it for a week, two weeks, three weeks, and then get over it mm -hmm. until it happens again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think right now, at this point, what we're going through, and everyone being at home and locked down, I think we're understanding each other better, and this is gonna stop. We'll yeah. come together. It, it's a it's a great point, and I do hope that we as a culture and even the Browns, the Blacks and Browns, you yeah. know, can come together to really make a change and keep this thing going. Like, and it's, again, not to promote violence, no. not to promote uh, racism or any of that. Just promote it, like, let's continue to stay smart. Let's continue to support each other. Let's continue to do our own research. Let's continue to call out the people who are not being real. Facts. Uh, Lashane, I'm going to ask you, ask. Ask, ask, ask. Uh, I'm going to ask you, uh, and I saw an interesting, uh, one of the Privilege Show viewers posted on their Facebook, uh, shout out Ty Perkins, Mr. Perkins. Uh, if there was one black leader that you could choose that is still alive to lead the black people, uh, the culture, who would that be? And if you need a few references or a few names out there, you know, I could, I could provide a few. I don't know because I mean, are we talking about politicians or? We're talking about we're talking about politicians. We're talking about artists. We're talking about movie stars. We're talking about any black male or female that has shown interest in being an activist or humanitarian for the culture or for the people, and not hiding behind uh, the suits, if you will. Uh, when I just a few references, Ti, Killer Mike. Uh, what what's his name? The 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 the, the black guy, heavy set, who always be going off. Not the Doctor Sevy, but um, the, the, uh, 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 Banning. Uh, what's his name? Talking about him? Uh, Talk about him. About yes, yes. The rapper. Yeah, exactly. But there's you got these the David people Banner. that are Sorry, David, David, Banner, David Banner, right? and then you have um, <sighs> his name will come to me. Okay, so there's a few, but you have these these people that are like, I'm willing to take a stand. You have uh. Nick Cannon that just graduated from uh, with his bachelor's degree from Howard, mm -hmm. Howard University for criminology or criminal justice to be able to make a change within the you know black black uh, communities with his celebrityism. So I'm sorry to answer your question. So you can answer your question. Sorry. I guess my thing is that uh, while not to discredit our ancestors because they've made great amazing strides. Uh, I do think that to change things fundamentally on the multiple levels that they are, I think that might be the problem is that we've always had one leader. I think mm. that we need to have a conglomerate. The same way there's the UN, there's WHO, there's, all, there's always a conglomerate of people who run an entire organization towards one goal. Right. And so I think we need like the gorilla NAACP, mm. Mm. you know, so I mean, I wish Nipsey was here, you know, so I could say Nip, you know, I would add Killer Mike. I would add a couple of people from the NAACP that have been in the game for 40 plus years. Um, but I think that's just my personal opinion. I think that that's why you know, turning the other cheek and trying to love one another has only gotten us so far because we've had one leader and the moment one leader gets too much anxiety to the, the masses are following them, what happens? They get taken out every time, right? Yeah, so yeah. I think that it has to be a conglomerate, a complete network that is so solid that's attacking multiple things because it's multiple things that are attacking us. It's not just the police. It's right. not just the judicial system. It's not just the schools. It's not just the doctors. It's not just the vaccines. It's not just the Planned Parenthoods. It's not just the banks. 
it's so many fucking things that are attacking us as a people. So to me, it's silly of us to continue to look for one person to guide Mm -hmm. us and be, no, I need the best of the best in law. I need the best and the best in challenging the judicial system. I need the best of the best who can go after these Mm -hmm. vaccines. I need the best of the best going after education. I need the best. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. One person's not going to be that. We'll be mm-hmm. we'll be waiting for the Messiah forever. Uh-huh. Now, if we want change right now, I think that we need to really stand up and look at that. And that's one way, one reason I know a lot of people give her a lot of shit. Kim Kardashian, I have said this on my post about Ahmad specifically. I feel like there's been a divine play going on with all these others falling in love with black men at the rate that they have over the past ten years. So that they would bear black children and have no choice but to fucking speak up. Because now it affects them. Now your racist uncle, your racist grandfather, that's your baby's life now. Now you can't separate yourself. Now it's not just makeup. It's not just the slang. It's not just braids. This mm. is your blood now. No. It's different. And notice what has she shifted to do? She's not Milan no more. She's going after prison reform. Why? Because she bore black children. Hmm. Right. That's deep. deep. So people can talk about her all she wants, but I'm just saying in general, I feel like that it's not just her. It's gonna be multiple ones because we need more of the others on our team to go hard. They have to feel like they're going to lose something that they just cannot live without. The same way we have for centuries, our men, our babies, our fathers, our brothers, they have to feel that same pain and they'll never know it. Unless they're mm. black, until they bear black children. Mm. That's deep. That's, That's deep. deep. That's um, what's up, bro. Uh, th- I think that is a very interesting question, and we definitely should, you know, tap a little bit more into that before the season is up. Season two is up. Uh, Isaac, if you had one person that you can pick uh, for the leader of the black community, black culture, could be a rapper, a, a politician any of that who would you say well again like what Shane said i don't see as one person you know i think that all the money that these rappers actors have sucked out the black community they need to stand up for the black people in the community you know then they come together why is it that we don't have our own but they have all their own you see what i'm saying instead of instead of them creating for the black community they're taking for themselves and that's why i feel like people like jay-z you know, people like Puff, people like Snoop, Dre, anybody that has made their their mark on the black community and came up off the back of black people need to come together and do what's right for us as a culture mm-hmm. and for humanity. You know what I mean? These are the people that have the money. It takes power and money. That it does. To lead. You know what I'm saying? We can, I can, I can talk all day. I can go outside and sit on the corner with a bullhorn screaming what we need and what's that gonna do? Yeah, I might get somebody here and there, and that's cool in the time. 10 years from now, 15 years from now, it'll pick up and, I, and I'll be something. But what about the people that are out there now that are something, that have this, this platform of two, of 15 million followers like Chris Brown does on, on Instagram or whatever these guys have? You know what I mean? It's time to come together and build together and, and put our differences aside and, and all this money don't mean nothing because you can't take it with you. So use your platform to help our community and better us. That's how I see it. So I can't give you one person. Yeah, agreed. I give you, I give you 25 people. No, ag- agreed. And I, I agreed. And I, I have to say, um, one of our, 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 our viewers, a good friend of mine, Daryl. What's up, Daryl? Uh, Ice Cube said Ice Cube, you know, is, you know, a, a voice of the people. And I guess maybe not so much of a politician. Like, you know, I don't think that we'll ever see another black president in the span of our lives uh hopefully we will uh but like i guess as far as the voice of the people i think that the people that we named so far have been doing somewhat of a pretty good job i mean because other than that who have we heard from you know malcolm has passed martin luther has passed uh a, uh, a lot of the greats have passed we need tupac back that where's our tupac at he and uh, uh, he and he and the himalayas hiding out uh, you know but a person that isn't afraid isn't afraid is not afraid to step up and say what the truth is. T.I. T.I., listen. He ain't the guy. 
There's that. Yeah, not he's the guy. Mm. I'm sorry. No respect to Ti, but he isn't the guy. You know what I mean? He's just not the guy. I think uh, he's the guy. I think that that's why it's so important. I think that in the times when everybody was in church on Sunday and all those things, that Martin Luther King was perfect for that time. And that time, that's just perfect for his time. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Nipsey was perfect for his Tupac. They were all perfect for their time. They left those gems that have stuck with us. What are people doing in quarantine? Starting their own business, not trying to work for the man. Nipsey taught us that. Okay, that was just a year ago that we realized. Okay, let's integrate with the fuck he was talking about. Mm-hmm. So it's not that we're not listening. I just think that sometimes we give bigger bouquets to others than they mm-hmm. have. You know, I don't think that any one person necessarily made more strides than the other because there was a whole team behind MLK and Malcolm X. You know, so there's... Right. I, I do think that this time calls for a massive shift and I think that that's what's happening. I think that what's happening is everybody is waking up. I think there's been a, a lot going on to get us to where we're at, but I don't think it's going to be one person. I think it's going to be multiple people. It, for it can be one person. It can't. There's just, yeah. at this point, we're sick of all of it. We're not just sick of the police. We're not just sick of the judicial right. system. Right. We're not just sick of teachers talking about my kids too hyper. We're not mm-hmm. just sick of you telling me my child wasn't talking before he got this vaccine. And why is it all the other little black boys are going through the same thing at three? You're not going to tell me we're fed up on multiple levels. And one person is not an expert. Right. All those things. You can't right. be. I agree. Unless no, you're 100 years old, there's no way you're an expert in all those <laughs> things at the current place that all those things are today. Yeah, and, and even if you were 100, I don't know if you could verbally communicate. With me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, thank both of y'all on that. That Y'all got me thinking about some things. So we definitely going to follow back up on that because, um, you know, and to, to put my input, my two cents, I personally don't have a voice of the people yet i mean i do see everybody i see what everybody is doing um the strides that we've taken over the years over the decades i still feel like we're still not there yet uh we still do have a ways to go um i do wish that we as a culture um in the communities especially growing up and coming from chicago uh shout out hometown um i do wish that we could make this a bit more consistent you know, because they was like, oh, well, the only reason that justice was served for, for Ahmad was because the video, we saw the video. It's not because, you know, this is two months later we're talking about. Right. So, so now you have, uh, to, to cap off this, uh, specific, excuse me, specific front page news with uh, rest in heaven to Ahmad Arbery, celebrities are now uh, sending letters to, uh, sending letters out to have swift movement in his case and getting this moved a little bit faster than. Because people got time. Yeah. Productions yeah. are shut down. Yeah. I mean, everybody's at home. I'm not trying to say that p- these people didn't care before. I think that's right. the problem, that p- it just wouldn't catch their eye because people have been so busy, especially in LA, especially if you're mm-hmm. in the entertainment industry and just whatever you got to do, right? Yeah. People right. have g- genuinely been busy. I don't think it's that people don't care about completely no, don't I think- care about black lives. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think it's great. Say, with this particular one, I've had so many of my friends that are not black contact me personally yeah. and just talk about how hor- horrible it is just wanting to check in on me as a mother of a black boy. And they're tired of it too. They're sick of they're, it. They're just, embarrassed. They're yeah. overall like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. I've had people call me from across the pond, literally. Just that know about this, but I think that it has a lot to do with it. people got time. Everybody's locked yeah. down, and yeah. this is what it's going to take for people to see the injustices as it re- as it relates to multiple things. I don't think it's going to be just this, but I hope that it's enough to change things. Agreed. Did y'all hear? Did y'all hear uh, why they weren't arrested? Uh, that part, no. Can you shine some light on that? Because there was a series of arre- of break ins or whatever. No, 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 no. The reason they were not arrested is because the district attorney, a woman of that state or that county or whatever, knows the man, the, the, the father. Yeah. And told the officers, because the officers said that they had, they had enough, uh, 
information, I guess, or to, to, to arrest the guys. Mm -hmm. She told them to not, to, she told them to arrest them, which also is a problem. Because that puts right. her directly involved in a, in a murder cover-up. Right. Okay. I the did. district attorney. Yeah. And didn't two people recuse themselves? Say what? Didn't two um, attorneys rec recuse themselves from the case? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm There's sick of it. But basically, <laughs> yeah. what I read basically. is it's been, it was a full cover up. Yeah. And people are just like, yo, you're not going to get me involved. I'm out. I'm yeah. out. You know, it's basically. Y'all heard about the, uh, the, uh, the cop that killed, killed the kid the other day? The, uh, the, the black dude that saved little girl and stabbed up? Wait, oh. what? Run that back? This just happened the other day. A little black uh, a boy, probably maybe 20s, early 20s, a, a nine year old girl was getting stabbed up by somebody, okay? The boy saves her, gets his blood on her. The cops come and kill him. Because they thought he was a kid. Without any type of. Well, time for yeah. us to take a stand again. Hashtag. You see what I'm saying, though? Like, yeah. this type of shit that makes you be like, you know what? You know what? But then what, when, when I do that and I laugh, shout out, I'm the bad guy. You know what the law I'm ready for? Why people can't be cops. Because if you're scared of people's skin tone, if you think, if you see someone's skin tone makes you think they're automatically guilty, you cannot be a cop. And that is ingrained in them. At this, this point, that's stuff. the law reform I need. This is the shit that Tupac was talking about. Be cops. This is shit Pac was saying. If you listen to music right now, you'd be like, damn, he was saying all this shit 20 something years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, all this stuff is like ridiculous. Run ridiculous. Me. Hell, Mary. Run you know, it's, 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 it's a, a lot. Like, what if Liam's trying to help his little sister? Right. Then what? I mean, this, See, this and I'm not the mom that's going to stand at no press release crying, talking about I want justice. I'm going to be crying talking about my... Like, no, I, if, I need blood for my child. Uh, I need blood for blood. Listen, so, you on some Holly Berry... Uh, I could see you and Holly Berry. You would have did a good part in that role. Uh, what was it called with Holly Berry and the little... <laughs> I know what oh, you're talking about. Isaiah? Who's Isaiah? Well, that no, was the first that. one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> he tried to make you a crackhead. Not, crack crack no, oh. not the crackhead, oh, Holly, okay. but the, the Holly where she was chasing, where she's like, I'm going to find him whatever way they I have to. snatched her baby from the, um, oh, okay. from the park. And she chased them. To, listen, I need she blood for blood. You scare my child, I'm scaring you. Yo, Here, that's, that's, that's comedy. Good. Listen, and rest in yeah. Rest in heaven. Re yeah. Let's move on. Rest in oh. heaven, little Richard, uh, yeah. rock and roll Hall of Famer, rock and roll king. He has passed away at eighty-seven years old. Uh, causes of death guy. unknown still, right? Well, I mean, he's eighty-seven. I'm saying so. Like, well, I mean, with, with all due respect, though, like it wasn't like he was forty-six or, or fifty-two. Like he was older, man. So I'm, I'm sure he had some illnesses that were probably <laughs> setting. You know, as, as being an 87 year old man. No, so he had, a, he had a, 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 a marvelous life, a wonderful life. Let's not. Oh, he lived. He lived. You know what I mean? That that man lived. I mean, what do you expect? You want 87 years of that? I would love 87 years of what he of what he did. He was a, a rock star, a movie star. He had money, homes. He had a beautiful life. You but know see, what I mean? So, yeah. He, gracious, in a sense, yeah. for him. You yeah. know, that's, that's kind of how I like to look at it with Will Richard, just for the fact of what he accomplished. The man is accomplished. He's a legend. He'll forever be remembered for being one of the pioneers of rock and roll. You know, now, beautiful life. But now, now uh, he did. He lived a very good life. It was almost, uh, I can picture it like being a Hugh Hefner life almost. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Like, no, no, no. very, very he rich. rich. No, he was, he was rich. He had, a, he had a really good life, man. You know what I mean? He had a really good life. One that yeah. anyone is, 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 will be blessed to have. Yeah. So, uh, agree. Now, uh, another death that shocked and rocked the world and music industry specifically, uh, Andre Harrell, music yeah. mogul, icon, yeah. uh, Uptown Records, uh, right. you know, founded Diddy, you know, that whole movement, Bad Boy yeah. movement, and uh, many other things along among <laughs> along the years. I'm like tongue yeah. tongue tied along the I'm years and uh, un uncalled, unknown, right? It wasn't called. Yeah, we have no idea how. You know, and, it, it, and that's sad because he wasn't an old man. It's getting a little spooky, honestly, that all these black people dying and we don't know how. Well, you know what? If the coroners don't have time to read the death certificates of people who are dying from corona, 
and they just now picking back up. How we know? You know what I'm saying? That I don't know. Anyway, it, isn't isn't Oprah wearing an ankle bracelet? Anyways, though, no. Oprah. Oh, her, her and Ellen are wearing. Oh, 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 y'all didn't know contact tracing. Y'all didn't know that they wear an ankle bracelet. Up. I didn't see it firsthand, but it sure does look like it in the pictures. Yeah. I, I listen. I know niggas in the hood. I and I've seen ankle bracelets before, and I know the shape of them sit. So, <laughs> what do you think it's about? Uh, the, the 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 child trafficking. Right. That's what I've been hearing the same with Ellen. Yeah. That her and yeah. Oprah. It ain't just that. That apparently that's why Harvey Weinstein only did what is it only got 21 years because he decided to give other information on other people having to do with the child trafficking, yeah. sex trafficking, drug, narcotics. And, and, uh, uh, apparently it was a Jeff Epstein. That was his name. Epstein. He's not even Epstein dead. Committed suicide. They they faked his death. He's not dead. Yeah, faked his death. Yeah. Right. Because he had so much dirt on the people. That's why they're bringing all this down now, you know, which is just, you know, there's gonna, again, allegedly, okay, none of this has been confirmed. Well, but allegedly, a picture of like his earlobe and oh. then the body that they were wheeling out, and the earlobe right. is very, very different. I mean, well, what I mean by allegedly, allegedly, allegedly these people are involved in sex trafficking and right. child trafficking, allegedly, right? We gotta say that. Allegedly, but yeah. But there is a lot of people that they are claiming are involved in this. Like, well, that's that Tom Hanks is involved, and that was the reason he right. was in Australia mm-hmm. and didn't come back. Yeah, they're saying that. They're saying that possibly there's a lot of, I don't want to call any names now because we haven't heard about them, but there's a lot of people that you're going to run yeah. into that are part of this. I mean, Oprah allegedly has. Um, uh, 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 tunnels under her home in, in hey. Florida. Okay. Uh huh. Boca Raton. Where, where, where they're running people back and forth. Oh, I'm pretty sure. No, I'm pretty sure they do. I mean, if a bomb came through, you know, I'm pretty sure right. there's an elite set that has that place to where nowhere to go, right. you know? Right. All um, I have to say is there's a reason why Oprah never spoke up on the people that she was very close to. Right. Right. Been indicted and found right. guilty for mm-hmm. these things, but is willing to talk about everyone else. It would be different if she avoided the conversation altogether. But the fact that she specifically does not go after these people tells me there's a reason why. Mm. And that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah, that's a that's a good good. Sorry about the fucking the the, the hard right we took. A hard left, but no, no, it's all good because we, we, you know, we were paying homage to a uh, little, little, little. I was about to say little. We were paying homage little. to Little Richard and uh, and Andre Harrell, rest in yeah. peace. And um, also, there was not the Tiger King, but one of the Sigmund Freud. Sigmund. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, he passed away. Yep, from one Corona, right? Passed away. Yeah. And then, who did you mention, Isaac? You mentioned somebody earlier. And a friend of mine, his father's best friend, passed yeah. away. Literally like three days ago, and he he had a corona for a week and a half. So this whole thing about come outside stuff, like on a regular, no more mask and open. Y'all do what y'all want to do, but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and just let this thing pass on a little longer. Give no myself worries. a little bit more space for a little longer. You know what I mean? Worries. Just because, because I don't know the government and what they're doing, but I know they're doing something. <laughs> now that I believe that too. Um... Yeah, that's that's what we have for celebrity news. Um, yeah, sorry. yeah, celebrity news and front page news. Uh, not even really celebrity news. Celebrity news, the hottest thing, hottest thing up today, hottest thing of the night. Uh, Jill Scott versus Erica Badu. Erica mm-hmm. Badu versus Jill Scott. They did the damn thing last night. Two hours strong. I was there for the whole two hours. Um, I thought it would be one of those things where I would have to just kind of die out, but they didn't do yeah. all the songs. They they. Mix them in. They didn't do everything yeah. back, back to back, you know? Yeah. I even had to pull up my shit down. Right? 725,000? Yeah, yeah. They know that's the second largest, you know, good for them. Wow. Them ladies, they have yeah. beautiful music. They have beautiful music. Now, I did, uh, I, I was hearing mixed reviews like it seemed like they weren't really friends or it didn't seem, it seemed like there was a little bit of shade or some things going on, but they were trying to just do it for the camera. Did y'all think that there was... No, I didn't get that. You thought it was pure I, and genuine? Well, I didn't watch the entire thing because I was, I was shooting something, but yeah. from what I got, I got two women who are very 
passionate and musically talented who are playing and playing their songs. You know what I mean? I just yeah. I feel like if, if there was some type of tension which I didn't get, it's called versus. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's me versus you. Yeah. So you know it it should be no different than then from when uh, Teddy Riley and they face go at like yo we, we going out of here. They did. But with all respect to them both ladies, they are both gorgeous. Yeah, and both gorgeous. And and yeah. I'm, I'm happy that they were able to put on a show for us, you know, Most for real. Definitely. Most sure. definitely. Everybody was in the building. Michelle Obama, I mean, you know, we can't even run down. There's so many to name at this time. Like this this quarantine thing, I've been finding so much joy in these versus yeah. things, you know, uh, all of that good stuff. You know, Lashane, mm-hmm. did you, you checked it out, right? I didn't. I, when I tuned in, they were figuring it out still and yeah. I have a three year old so it's you're, like I can you're. either figure him out or figure <laughs> him out <laughs> so I was figuring him out um I was walking through the house and my housemate was listening to it so I did kind of catch a little bit but I, I missed it this time unfortunately. yeah well so, uh, what did you think you thought so you thought they were throwing a little shade at each other from the little clip you saw um, no I'm talking to you it, oh me oh yeah. I, I I didn't think so. You know, seeing it from the okay. beginning, I see how people who probably came in in the middle of it, or you know, at a certain point of the battle or versus, they probably could have thought that. But um, really, yeah. I, but I watched it from the beginning. I thought that Erica Badu was a little irritated in the beginning because she was sitting on her live already ready. You know, uh, uh, background going on, all that, and you know, she's reading on Jill Scott, and then her people telling her, "Oh, we got to go over to uh, to Jill's page." So they finally got it together. But outside of that. They were very um, soft-spoken. They were very, like you said, beautiful, fresh-faced. Erica Badu came with the creativity. Um, I did hear mixed reviews on that background that Erica Badu had. Why? Um, I don't want to... Bruce It's martial arts, right? Martial arts. uh, Yeah, but it was like, okay, she's doing... One of the reviews was like, okay, she's doing too much. That's doing too much. I can't really focus. It's distracting me. And then a good point was made that... (sighs) Because they are both low key and mellow artists, it would have been mm. chill as hell, low key as hell. Would have been putting people to sleep if they didn't have yeah. nothing going on, you know. Yeah. So, uh, yes. <laughs> I mean, what's, what's wrong? With, what's wrong with that? Like, what's wrong with her expression? Like, let the woman do what she yeah. do. Opinions, Riley, opinion. Like, it, it, uh, yeah, no, but see, Teddy Riley is the problem. Teddy Riley made a fool of his damn self that first time. Did he? Oh. Yes, he did. Did. However, those two particular artists, Jill Scott and Erica Badu, those are the two that I've already prepped myself for. Yeah. Like when they were still trying to get it together, I was yeah. like, okay, I already know how they are. They're the, they they kind of come two hours late anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah rather for than meet their frustrated, I know who yeah. they are. I was with them. Let me go get my three year old together. I'm going to have to catch this rerun. Period. Erica's known to be late. Erica's known to not show up. And she was on time, but then Jill, like, she walked off to go make a drink or roll a blood or something. She did. I did catch that. I did catch that. <laughs> How long I was did she going for? That. Probably like three <laughs> minutes. On a long really? thing. Um, you talking about the beginning, right, LaShane? Who was who was uh, speaking when she it was? It was Jill with this intro. She had a picture shown in the back, and she had this of Maya Angelou. Something, yeah. And something. Maya Angelou was like just going to town, speaking. Tree. Yeah, and, and, and Jill and was and gone. Jill was gone. So Erica and finally Erica got. Erica is like, we gonna see what's happening. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, but it was it was it was good overall. Uh, Erica yeah. Badu did. She dropped that next lifetime. That'll forever be a joint. Yeah. She dropped that. Uh, certainly, she dropped Orange Moon. Erica had I, songs. Oh, Erica yeah. had songs, yo. Songs. Erica, after songs. Erica, I, I, you know, I like them both, but I'm gonna go in that versus. If I had to choose a winner, I'm gonna go with Erica on that one. Yeah, uh, man. Woo. I gotta up. say, Erica, but you know what? Jill, Jill ended it off with that. Uh, the long uh, is it the way or one of those? But I think oh, oh she, really she did. But she waited because you know that was a big hit for her. She waited to the end to drop that. But then Erica, Erica's last was um, Tyrone. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, you know that that Tyrone, and then she did the live version. You know so. Anyway, uh, epic battle. One battle mm-hmm. that that users, viewers, uh, and fans alike were looking to see for to sing is Brandy versus Monica. Mm-hmm. Uh, Monica came on for the record and was like, "Nah, 
Y'all trying to, you know, to me, it seems like y'all trying to rehash a beef that, you know, things that y'all y'all pit, y'all pit us together, pitted us together over the years. Okay. And it seems okay. like y'all, this is the same mess. We don't want to take, you know. And so I, so she she said, uh, Brandy then, or one of them said, if this was more of like a tribute instead of a versus or battle, then they would be down for it. So, well, uh, I, I get where they're coming from, but this isn't the energy. Right, of the right. This isn't '90s battles. This right. is completely different. Where I don't think does anybody really even call a winner. It's like at the end of the day, I'm downloading more music. I'm remembering good times of being mm. in the kitchen with my aunties and my Grammys. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm they ain't not seen it that thinking way. about no winners here. Yeah, but... they are. Well, those two are thinking about not losing. Oh yeah, because because you know they, what I mean. The fans are the like, book, they don't want to reopen that scat because because the because because they beef. So for them, it's like, oh, you gonna? Um, I, they might have better songs than me. Like I don't want to do any of that. My right. caption for that versus would be, "Whose boy is it?" Like you know, they did the song, ah! "The boy is mine." And it's but like, I, who gonna play that first? That's the hit. And and both of them, to be honest, both of them needed this. Whose boy is it? Okay, they did. They, they both needed verses for their own publicity. They yeah. tripping. Well, well, uh, shout out, you know, Monica and Brandy, we love you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Listen to me for decades, but we would like to see. Uh, now, here's the here's what I feel like. Brandy said, you know what? Because Sonia Norwood, from my understanding, is still managing Brandy, her daughter Brandy, and has been throughout the uh, tenure of her career. Yeah. Brandy said, y'all going to do a versus. F that. I'm going to drop a song. So Brandy dropped the song and video. And then she's also prepping up her new album called Seven, I believe. Which but no one cared, though. No one cared. Wow. <laughs> no, no one cared. I like Brandy. No, no, no. I like Brandy. My what? point is this. Oh, the people. Is, the people don't if, care. If she was smart, okay, she would have done the verses and then dropped the song and video. Okay? Yeah, that's the point. I, what are we talking about here, Brandy? Like, like, no disrespect, but you're not relevant in that way. And you're yeah. old. Yeah. Like, that, I mean, that, you're old and... You're old and you're pop in a sense. So your best bet was to go battle Monica and then drop your song in verse. I mean, drop your song in video and and, and, and let the streams rise up. That's, that's how it came out of it. If I was a manager. Her market is more niche at this point. Right, definitely. So I agree. You know, if I were her manager, then that would have been the yeah. Talking um, about it. You're doing this. You're talking but, about it. You're battling but, you know, I was saying B2K should have opened for Janae when they, you know, before that whole other... Well, that ain't happening. happening. That but ain't happening, like, never. But, but people, that just goes to show how we allow those old scabs to open up well, instead well, of... Well, it's a new scab, scab, though. No, the, the new scab was, um, yeah, um, yeah, sex with my mom's. That's, that, that's the new scab. And you got my, you, you whipped my, uh, my baby's mother. But the other one, that's the new scab. Y'all not rocking. I'm not rocking with y'all. Simple as that. You know, That's and it's true. sad because Raz B is the only one that really suffered in this whole situation because he didn't do nothing. Well, you know what? Let's go back. Let's take that back. Raz B of B2K was the one who was hy- h- hysterically doped up or drugged up years ago that talked about Chris. He was Stokes telling the truth. Lessing. He was telling That's the truth, true. but he fucked the business up then. Then years later... Okay. Fizz fucking the business up. Well, hold on now. They broke up. And now, if, if Lil Fizz, if Lil Fizz, if Lil Fizz, he's no longer Lil Fizz, but if Fizz, not, Drew, whatever, if he, oh. if he, if he had sex with Omarion's mom, yo, no, 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 no. That's Bug. wild. I no, heard Bug. it. Not Fizz, Bug. Bug, correct. Bug. Bug. Not Fizz. It's still messed right. up. I mean, right. So, you know what I mean? Um, That's now, unthinkable. Now. That's like me he having sex with, with your moms, Isaac. Like, what type of shit? What? So, but no, but he came out with the molestation after the group had already broken up, though. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't like it was before the group; it was after the group. You know what I mean? And um, that did happen. So, you know what I mean? Like, because I know somebody that was supposed to sign to that label that had that offered the same contract with the same type of stipulations, and he was like, "I'm good on it." Bottom line is, they all. Are messed up, and Omarion was smart to just take the high road. What were they wrong or right, and, and how we treated April? Were they wrong or right? I'm not disputing that because I don't know about their situation, mm-hmm. but I do know what they did publicly is wrong. You know what I mean? You, you, you're you over here laid up with, with his, his baby's mama. You over here trying to have sex with my moms, and I'm gonna take y'all on tour with me. 
Nah, that's a wrap. It's nah, a that's rap. a wrap. That messed up the whole dime and coin or whatever it was. Absolutely. Oh man, their dime coin, not Amarion's. Damn. No, not on Marion's. He, 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 yeah. Even if he stuff. did do her wrong, which right. I can't comment on because I don't know nothing about it. It's like, as my boy, or even on a business level, my boy, you don't go stepping at on, anything. If she come to you and she pillow talking to you, then you run that back to me. Come on, man. But right? it's supposed to show you. It's supposed to show you. It's it's a it's a it's an old old tradition. Sex women will ruin men. Because they hold on, hold on. Here's why: because men chase vagina, and they don't know how not to separate that from friendship with other people. Like they'll, I know guys that ruin best friendships for 20 years over sex one time with a girl he was with. Like, come on, my guy. Like, come on. You know what I'm saying? But that's how it happens. A lot of men men think that way. I've seen it happen. You know, sad. What's the movie? Yeah, man thinks the way woman, whatever. Wow. Um, for our Brandy yeah. fans, we won't leave y'all high and dry. Brandy's oh, yeah. single is called Baby Mama. Y'all was talking about Baby Mama. Baby Mama. Uh, her song is called Baby Mama. She got a dope video choreographed yeah. by Frank Gatson brought together. Okay. Okay, okay. Brandy, do your thing, girl. Of all Baby that. Mama good stuff. Baby yeah. Mama, yeah. check that out. Like video pretty dope. Yeah. She did a tribute to Sammy Davis Jr. with okay. an oversized suit, hat, you know, combo, choreography okay. combo. Uh, really, really dope. Uh, y'all, y'all are funny co-hosts. I love, I love. Them. Oh, and Brandy, if you need a baby daddy, come holler at me. I can. Another baby daddy. She got a baby. Another baby daddy. daddy or someone to take care of your baby. Yeah. With your pockets, come holler at me now. <laughs> now, now, Isn't going that into daddy? going into the talk of the the zodiac. I'll give you a a, a very warm introduction, Lashane. I think it's only appropriate. Right. Oh. Taurus season. Taurus. Oh. Is the, and, and happy belated birthday, Isaac. Happy belated birthday. Yeah, Seth. happy belated. Yes. Isaac, uh, this speaks to you, and I have a lot of Taurus friends. Surprisingly, I know a lot of Taurus and are, are pretty close to Taurus. Taurus is the second of 12 astrological signs and is represented by the bull constellation. Of the four zodiac elements, air, earth, fire, and water, Taurus is an earth sign. Taurians, like the bull that represents them, are known to be intelligent, Dependable, hardworking, dedicated, and stubborn. Uh, that's all you? Except stubborn. Got okay. it. Got it. Lashane, what's the, what's new for the zodiac or in the cosmos? We because again, we don't want to. You don't want to be. What did you say? You don't want to be like deemed the mother of the, of the stars, but you're like. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> definitely not. I'm just sharing with y'all my journey. That's it. Um, yeah, that's good. But, um, so yeah, we just had the last, um, super full super moon of 2020, which is the flower moon, also the full moon in Scorpio. That was May 7th. Um, so full moons are fantastic for releasing things, um, mostly outdated thoughts, beliefs, behaviors, relationships, um, relationships also include jobs. Um, and so, in general, uh, 2020 is, you know, a really big year. Um, uh, people would call it biblical times in a lot of ways. Um, people will say the apocalypse is here. And depending upon what you believe, that may or may not be true. Um, but one thing you can't deny is there is a major shift happening on a global level um, of people becoming much more in tune with things that matter. Um meaning um, things that matter to their heart, not so much um, outside validation because so much of what constitutes outside validation is closed, inaccessible to you. Um, And so um, that natural shift is just us getting back in tune with like nature and the earth and We've already talked about in previous episodes how, you know, fish and other um, animals are showing up in places they haven't been in decades. Um, so that just goes to speak on to that huge shift that's happening. So this is the last super moon, which means this is a fantastic moon to release anything that you're kind of been holding on to, if any remnants of the past that you're holding on to. Um, I just moved and found a picture with my ex and threw that bad boy out. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, just whatever it is, um, this is just the perfect time for that. Um, 
I've been noticing a lot of people who previously were have been givers, like over givers, maybe I would say more specifically over givers are really taking this time to turn in and give that energy to themselves instead. And for those who have been doing that over the past couple of months, um, I'm seeing that a lot of the seeds that they've sown are already starting to show fruit, which is really beautiful to see. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on in the cosmos right now. I would say how it's affecting me. Um, I definitely just moved and kind of, it was definitely more of an upgrade. Um, you know what they say, about the how, um, that's so important because I knew I had a goal, you know, to move to a house and have a backyard that my son could play in. And if I was attached to the how, um, it probably wouldn't have happened. And I, there's no way I could have foreseen it happening the way that it happened. Um, but it did in ways that I couldn't imagine. And it's better than I could have imagined. Um, and so for me, I think this super full moon has been about really releasing my attachment. I have control issues. I'm a Scorpio. So yeah. I like to control and dictate everything. I'm very much an alpha. So, um, that's been something that I've been working through during this full moon. What about you guys? Um, that's good. Thank you for that. Uh, I've been feeling that vibe too. Like just not so worried about the how, just, you know, more so just trying to get it done, you know, and, and just being grateful for the times that we have, you know, with this Corona stuff, Corona stuff it's so uncertain with what's happening in the world with the production entertainment industry you know, we as creatives, yeah, it's every, a lot of stuff about stuff right now. So I'm just saying all that to say, I'm having to keep my anxiety at a low by waking up with gratefulness, waking up humble, waking up for uh, even the smallest things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, thankful for even our conversations, keeping it real and just good people. Um, uh, everything is uncertain, so that I don't. I'm not making too many hard plans, but I am still setting goals and still making sure that I wrap up things that are not necessarily uh, taken care of. So uh, other than that, I'm cool. I'm staying blessed, staying peaceful. Uh, again, keeping my anxiety low, keeping my medicine and, you know, all that good stuff. So, <laughs> Isaac, what about you? <laughs> I'm just uh, your birthday. How was your birthday? And with the Taurus, with the Zodiac, like, do you feel the new moon spirit and all that? Yeah. I mean, uh, that's the thing. I don't know. You know what I mean? I, mean I, I know I'm doing more things than I normally do. I know that um, I've severed some relationships that I probably didn't need anymore recently. I'm not sure that's part of it. Um, I'm looking at life like I need to make some changes. You know what I mean? So that could be all part of that mood you're talking about. But I'm here that's for pretty, it. That's pretty deep. Yeah, that's this is a deep. great time to take a salt bath. I was reading, so salt? I don't not know. Not the Morton salt in your run. Your, right. in your yeah, not like Morton's. Do like I'm, I'm about to put some Morton's in there. You shovel the fuck up. I never go to that bathtub. <laughs> tripping, tripping. You don't do baths. What I'm saying is that I'm about to pour a whole bunch of more salt into a bath and fuck around and no, die. No, no, get some That's like hilarious. salt or something. Um, I'll do a bath. Do yeah. A bath. Do you have any crystals, Isaac? No, I don't. Okay. I heard I should probably get some. For your birthday, I'll have to gift you some crystals since that's the LA oh. thing to do anyway. Is it crystal? Yeah. That's good. Some crystals and incense, maybe a little oil. Yeah. I, you know what? I, I definitely do oil. I used to do a lot more oil. Now I use. Um, coconut oil for the ladies because they got tired of the thick oil I put on their bodies. So you now, don't put coconut kind of oil on the beard? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of no, oil would you put in there? Nah, um, I'm just messing with y'all, man. I'm <laughs> I was going to say, because wait, you know I'm going to inquire, but uh, coconut oil is not a bad thing. It's very great. Uh, I have coconut and I, I, I have one beside my bed and I have one in, in the living room. I'm sorry, in the bathroom. Bathroom one is for people to use. LaShane, <laughs> remember that whenever we go over, you know, because I know, you know, the, the coconut don't have no little squirt top. You got to dip the hand in. So, you know. Right. You know. Do you have a spoon in it? Do you no, have a spoon? I, I have a handprint in it. Oh, no. 
no, no. We'll leave that over there. Being a little ladle. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. A measuring spoon. Just a who certain can, amount. Like, get the thick, who, like, who ice cream sticks or what is it? Popsicle sticks. That's it's funny. I'm in that girl. I'm in that. No double dipping in the no, coconut. No milk. double dipping. Yeah, no. Because you know what? It's the co- that coconut and shea butter is a thing. When people act for some, it's like, huh? Let me give you some. You yeah. Know, I'll give it to you. <laughs> That's funny. For oh, funny. Y'all got to take keep keep care of good care of that skin. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. So that brings us to the end i think what we're going to do okay. next week for you guys make sure y'all tune in we're going to be talking about mental illness we're going to be talking yeah. about when's the right time to tell is uh, that retardation uh, that's what i mean retardation or mental uh, i'm sorry never mind. Mental, let's mental say illness. why don't you define okay. what we're okay. going to be talking about next week like mental <laughs> illness like Anything you see a, a physician for. So if it's okay. bipolar, if it's mood swings, if it's depression, okay. if it's anxiety, um, if it's, you know, personality disorder, okay. if it's PTSD, um, okay. you know, like if you're the one who has that illness, when is the right time to disclose? And if you've been on the other side of that, you know, when have they disclosed? Did you feel like it was too soon, too mm. late? Right, right, fair right. or completely honest and comfortable. Um, I think it's an interesting conversation to have for sure. It'll be good. It'll be good. I like that. Thank you guys for an amazing, amazing episode. This is episode 10 of the Socially Charged, Debatable, and Dope Privilege Show. Next yeah. week, please tune in to episode 11 where we're going to be discussing mental illness and when to tell. Uh, included in that is always our front page news celebrity report music new music coming out and all of the rest of the good stuff so in the meantime between time stay home stay clean stay safe wrap it up uh open your bibles uh all that. Coconut, all that. shea butter all that good stuff <laughs> in the meantime love y'all peeps y'all stay blessed peace y'all all right peace bye, bye. bye. bye.